they call me Dr. Brown for, for more than one reason. <laughs> What's up guys, it's CG here and welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved here on the Pooptopia server. Woo! Yes, I'm so excited for this video. I got a lot of stuff to talk about, a lot of things to show you. Um, those last videos you saw, episode 1 and 2, uh, they were uploaded over the week that I was away, and whilst I was away, and I did quite a lot of stuff off camera as well, I've built a lot more stuff, I got a lot more tames, so I'm going to go around and show you a lot of the stuff I've done, and talk about what we're going to be doing in this episode. So, I've got a beaver here, I am, I'm going to do a beaver tame video, as well as a pterodon tame, these guys are just temporary, um... Uh, I needed them just for doing work off camera because I am doing a base building episode today. I have something very cool planned. Still a bit of weight on this guy. And I got a flightless bird here. Level 87. Can't even speak. A level 87 pterodon. He is not too useful. I did have another one, but I had to execute him because he was absolute rubbish. And I'm so sorry that I had to execute him, but you know, when you're stuck with a level 10 pterodon, it's really the most painful thing in the world. I also did have a level 150 raptor, it was really really good, but then all of a sudden uh, an alpha raptor chased me and kind of chopped me up, and for some reason it's not, my buttons aren't working and I can't eat my meat. Well it looks like I'm going to be starving. <laughs> Let's get this done. Um, for this episode I have switched my keyboard over to one that I don't really use, and whoa this is a big problem. Okay, so my buttons don't work at all. Okay, well anyway, forget about that, I'll improvise. Um, yeah, I've got a new keyboard, well not a new one, it's kind of an old one, but I'm going to be using it. It's a lot quieter than the other ones, so when I'm running around and stuff, you don't hear the big clicking, because I realised that was a problem in some of my videos, and I'm going to have to try and save up for a new keyboard. But for the meantime, I'm going to have to use this, and maybe have to go back to the other one, because this one doesn't seem to be working very well. But yeah, they call me Dr. Brown Thumb. And that's because of these dung beetles. Because they eat poo, don't they? Hmm, and I like to pick them up and just, yes, little poo bugs. Anyway, I got four of them. I did a video taming two, and then I realized I needed more because after playing PvP servers, I was fed up with being treated like a slave and working on compost bins, so I want to make sure that I overproduce with fertilizer. And that's kind of what I'm doing, so that's good. Four dung beetles, not going to need any more. Well, not yet, maybe. What else we got? We have the Urgenti Bees, and we tamed this guy up last episode, you did see. Also, I have this farm set up, narco berries for narcotics, I got some stuff here because... Oh yeah, I didn't mention, I have tamed a Megalodon, it's like level 160 now maybe, I'm not too sure. But me and Diggy are going to be doing a collab video, we found this underwater cave, it's really cool, so... I'm going to make some Lazarus chowder with these vegetables here. We're going to go in that cave, do a video, we've got the sharks, it's going to be really good, really good fun. <laughs> and then we'll see what else we can do within that episode. But for now, we are going to be taking a look at my building, my, my plan, my base, my everything. So this episode, this se uh, season even, is going to be a lot more different to what I... Did last season and last season I built sort of the start of my big house and then I never continued it but this time I'm actually gonna be building a castle gate down here as you can see I've already started it. it is very very annoying to put together this like I really did not enjoy putting these little pillars up now if you're wondering what these pillars are they are actually fence supports I think they're called and they are from the structures plus mod so, where are they? I had some here. Yeah. Structures plus wood fence support. These are a lot better, and I'll show you why. But I'm going to have to do this manual at the moment, which is going to be a right pain in the bum. So if I sort of place this on here, I'll show you what they can do. Not having buttons isn't helping. <laughs> so these guys are going to have to go in my inventory. It's going to be a very long build. So, as you can see, I can place one there, one there, one there. And then they do clip underground like that. That's why I've got them. So, if you use normal fence foundations, they'd be all rigid on a slope. But these guys embed into the floor, allowing me to create a nice flush sort of design of this wall. And I really don't like how this button's not working, so I might have to switch back to my other keyboard. Not too sure. This is going to take a very long time. 
But anyway, I'll show you my ideas with this. So we got walls here. These little boxes here are meant to be towers. We got what have we got? We got one tower here, and we got another tower here. There'll be a dino gate here, a small one. This is going to be become a problem in the future because I won't be able to put a behemoth gate here, or if I do, it's going to cause a lot of headache. These things are insanely difficult to put together, and it almost consisted of me throwing my computer out the window. It is that bad. So I got really angry setting these up. Like I lost my, I lost my control. I went full rage mode. Oh. I was so close to just smashing up my computer. These things are the worst ever. Do you know what Ark really needs to do? They need to add in a rotate button with your buildings. Like something that will cycle through all the snap points rather than relying on you to move around. If it was like that, then life would be so much easier. But no, you have to like kind of move around and it's just insane. Like if I get one of these, I'll try and show you what I mean. But it's just so goddamn annoying. Like if I wanted to line this up... It literally cycles. I have to walk all the way back, and it cycles to all of the positions besides the one I want. I want it to go to the left of it, but it's it's not doing it. It's just so difficult. And I spent hours on end doing this over last week, and it was not fun at all. Another thing that's a bit weird of these is if you have too many together, and you say I demolish this one, it would like demolish all of this row, and that would like really set me back loads. But anyway, enough chitter chatter about those stupid things. I am going to finish setting up these two towers. They're first going to be wood. They will eventually be stone and look all sexy like that. But I got a wall here. I got this tower sort of here. I got another one here and another wall there. The spikes are only there temporarily whilst I, you know, sit there and rage about how these walls are insane to put together. I think with this gap here, because. I could put one here, but I need to get another fence thing right there, and that is insane, almost impossible. So if I get a normal fence foundation, I should be able to put it there and clip a wall in with it. So that'll work out fine, that's okay. But I'm probably going to do some sort of speed build because my button isn't working, and I might have to switch keyboards, I'm not too sure yet, it depends how bad it gets. But I'm going to do a little speed build, putting this together, and it's going to be pretty damn awesome. So guys, I'll see you all when this is nearly done. Speed it up. god right guys this is taking far too long like i've spent like two minutes just doing this and that is insane this keyboard is obviously broken as it will not no matter how hard i press let me use my hotbar i don't know if i'm just being an absolute idiot and doing it wrong and got an option disabled or something but i am pressing these numbers and oh 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 i've just used a parachute what have i done hmm hmm Like it highlights over it if I press down, but... Oh! Okay, so this keyboard is very damaged. I just realized how to make it work. I have to kind of... Uh, 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 uh. Right, guys. I'll be right back. I'm going to switch over keyboards. This isn't working. I am back. And... Oh, no. Oh no, it wasn't the keyboard, it was the game! It was the game! The amount of frustration this has just given me. Oh, I'll be right back. Alright, so I am back on, and perfect timing as everything is going absolutely perfect in today's video. First keyboard breaks. Then it turns out that the keyboard's not broken, and now it's almost night time and I can't see a thing. Ah, oh, today is wonderful. So I can finally place these walls again, but now it has got too dark. So guys, I'll be right back when this is done.
Well, guys, that is going to be it for this wall. Um, if you didn't notice, I do have a problem here. These stupid, really annoying, very irritating, make me want to jump out a window type of pillars here aren't responding with the walls. I've tried clipping walls to them. It says no snap point when this is clearly a snap point, but they just don't want to work. So off camera, I'm going to have to try and fix this. And if I'm not online, if there's no videos within the next two weeks, then it's probably because my computer's been thrown out the window. But, you know, I'll try and contain my rage as much as I can with these. They are very painful to use. And I've only just realized you can literally only need to place one of these and you can just build up. You don't have to keep placing pillars upon pillars. Because I was an idiot. I was a big dummy and uh, literally put pillars all the way up to the top. But now I'm literally just going to put the bottom one down and just build up straight away with it. Which is great. Absolutely fantastic. But anyway, you can see the start of this sort of wall. This is going to be sort of the entrance to my base, my territory. There's going to be a small dino gate here. I'm going to make this look all snazzy and all sexy like that when stone is added and everything. But these walls are going to take a lot of time to do. I'm probably going to do a lot of it off camera. But obviously show you the finished piece once it's done. But for the time being, I'm just going to have to accept the fact that these don't work. I'm going to get angry and I've got a lot of things to do off camera. Hooray me! Yay! Because I love a good old bit of arc building. 10 out of 10 for building best building system ever guys just keep that in mind but we're gonna fly back to base here i do have a few more walls left but i'm gonna leave them there just because i don't want to do any more building right now i, I want to make sure i can fix those pillars before i do any more building because if it turns out i have to scrap the entire thing and i place those then that's gonna be a problem i no longer need this shotgun i only used it for the torch which was actually very handy i don't even know why i had a laser on it when i get a Cross here because I'm a big dummy. Um, These pillars are a right pain and I hate them so much, but they are so much better than the default arc foundation, so I'm gonna have to use them. I'm gonna go put this gate back actually because this gate, this gate, I need something super speedy. This gate is very good. I need to add like, I'm not too sure what design I want to do with the gates. I'm not sure if I just want one or if I'm gonna add like three but only have one of a door but if I somehow place this nice and center so my OCD doesn't strangle me I think that's lovely is that lovely maybe what's it look like oh this looks absolutely fantastic and it should be in level when I put the walls in as well. Well, I hope at least. Even though I think the castle wall is going to be a little bit higher. I'm not too sure. I haven't decided. Either way, this is done. I am now dying. So I'm just going to thank you all guys for watching this episode. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, be sure to leave a like. Also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.